Do you want to turn your designs into real woodwork with computer control, but don't have the budget for a new CNC router? Do you want to carve custom stamps? Do you want to engrave signs with your favorite font? Do you want to shape repeatable jigs and fixtures automatically from computer-aided designs? Do you want to learn about and experiment with CNC programming before investing in expensive equipment? Me too! Here's what I did. Here's a quick walkthrough of the CNC router. Here's a job I just completed. Here's the router. You can see it's held in this carriage which is on the Z axis, which is driven by this motor driving that lead screw. And here's the X axis, it's a drawer. It's again driven by stepper motor driving that lead screw. And these plastic strips came from an old toboggan and they work nicely as dust covers. Um, y axis is, well, the main reason I started with a radial arm saw. It's the sliding axis of the saw. Again, see that's being driven by another stepper motor and a lead screw. This one you can sort of see the nut a little better than in the other axes, maybe. Come around this side. It's under there. It's in a channel actually. Again, to sort of hold the position and also give it some more stiffness. I'll just stiffen up these brackets with this piece of wood here, which is attached to the main column of the saw. So then the drivers are in this box, my daughter painted. Nice job. It's made from an old cookie tin. Here you see the biscuit fan, don't touch the blade. I actually have a couple old phone chargers as my 3.5 or 3.3 and 5 volt power supplies. Uh, so I have something like 24 volts coming in and it gets regulated by those two. See the 3X, Y, and Z drivers here. Parallel cable at the bottom goes to the parallel port in the computer. So we've got some Cat5 cables coming in with the, let's see, X, the Y and the Z power, and then all the signals through this one. And then, of course, we've got the computer running CNC Linux. And there's the screen. Shows the program I just finished. That's the Axis user interface. CNC Linux comes with a lot more sophisticated components than what I'm using, but got to start somewhere. So, just have my mouse sitting on the old vise here. And there's the computer. So, this whole thing is on a cart that's on wheels, which I reused from a furniture dolly. cart itself I built from structural lumber in this is holding not only my saw but also well some other implements from the shop. Saw the vise, it's a joiner and some other bits and pieces. In fact it even holds a couple of saw horses on the back. <laughs> and uh, well the vacuum cleaner uh, wasn't doing its job as a vacuum anymore in the house but now it's up here to do dust collection. Currently I've got it disconnected. These brushes, I can do it with one hand. It's got magnets in it. I can put underneath my 
router and I can run the vacuum into the bottom there where the brushes are. Suck some dust out. That's mostly what we got here. These toe clamps and some of my other pictures you can see I actually used the router itself to cut these slots and they're just various bits and pieces of hardware that I had from some other jobs reused for this purpose. They seem to work pretty well holding things down. That was advice I saw somewhere online to use wood clamps that way if you're program goes awry and your cutter hits your clamp, it's cutting wood and not metal. That's the overview. You can read about my projects at chipswoodshop.com. If you're interested in this project or other woodworking projects of mine, subscribe so you'll be notified when I post a new one.